all right folks we made it i just pulled up here at okeechobee i'm at sky driver park man it's super nice the weather's like 86 degrees beautiful day out here in florida i literally just pulled up i just get right on time i'm like 30 minutes before the registration meeting starts threw my jersey on real quick put my bill lewis cap on we're ready to roll we are looking for a total change of events from last tournament let me tell you so you fall up mother nature was crazy the weather was crazy we didn't get it done we had a tough we had a relatively tough tournament it could have been a lot worse we finished 48th out of 80 i can't complain given the circumstances but we're gonna really try to turn things around this week so i love florida fishing this place reminds me probably the most of the california delta which is my home lake and, and probably and one of my favorite places to fish got the legendary gary klein then you got mr powell himself we well, gotta watch out how you walking around here you might mess around and get hit mr powell what's up bro beautiful down here i left the house this morning it was 58 degrees got down here about an hour ago 86 86 degrees crazy so out on the point here i see my boy jay wills i didn't congratulate my dog like 20 times but i'm gonna do it one more time for the for the vid congratulations to the one and only jacob wither man i do he's my roommate i get to travel with him hang out with him but my man is one hell of a fisherman and I just missed getting pooped on. Did you Jacob see Wheeler and all the top Ooh. 10? Break that. Cajun baby. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Hey, Linder, stay away from the 1 8s, bro. All right. And so it begins. You good, bro? Got that good locker bar on there. You can never be too safe. Hey, look. I gotta keep my stuff locked up. Yes, sir. Because I got some goodies. <laughs> gotta have it, bro. Get my goodies. My goodies. <laughs> my goodies. <laughs> <laughs> but you's a fool. <laughs> All right, big dog. I'll holler at you. All right, bro. All right. For sure. My boy DC Wild. Had to throw a little Sierra in there to kick the morning off. All right, here we go. All right, so in preparation for the wind, it's supposed to get really windy on our first day. Uh, you gotta consider that, especially on a lake like Okeechobee. When I say this place can get nasty, I mean downright big, big, big. Unfortunately, we had a guy pass away couple years back man in a very sad situation but you know that just shows you how dangerous this place could be so due to that fact I'm I'm getting ready to lock through here on practice day into an area called JNS it's a canal system very narrow has some bass in it um, obviously but it's very narrow and it's a little more protected from the wind so we're gonna see if we can get in here and find a couple fish I might want to bite because that'll help us out a lot as far as getting out of the wind. Pull this cord right here. And then they know we're here. Hopefully. that flashing red light up top technically you're supposed to wait till the lock master turns that green before you can enter the lock we get a lot of guys that'll just start heading up there all right well, and he wants me to come in so he didn't even turn it green that's cool So that's the lock this is a really small one they got a lot bigger ones depending on where you're at in the country that can hold 15 20 30 40 boats sometimes this one right here probably get two guys in here maybe three so he's shutting the door back here behind us 
and he's gonna let some water out in front of us and we'll be ready to roll. Hopefully there's some fish on the other side of this bad boy. I know there are. I've been to Okeechobee probably five to six times in my life, my career, and I've never actually been over here to this JNS canal area. Just always have heard about it, but just never, you know, had the, had the chance to get over here. I've always fished to the North, North Shore, they call it, or down in South Bay, Pelican, places like that. So trying something different, thinking outside of the box, really just in preparation for what's to come with these big wins. I mean, there's even talks of uh, potentially cancellations which would be no good, but you know, a cancellation is, you know, it's, it's, it's all bad for everybody involved, but at the end of the day, safety is the most important thing. So gotta always be looking out for that. you guys a couple standbys for me out here on Okeechobee and really anytime I'm down in Florida you know there's a couple baits that I gotta have geez if I could find my box there we go I was gonna be in here somewhere so this bad boy right here two baits that I always have when I come down to Florida. There they all hung up in there. This one is a very, very old bait. And I don't hear a lot of guys talk about this anymore, but that's a boy howdy. And you can see that one right there. Got some mileage on it. I got a bad hook for catching too many fish. We'll need to fix that, but that's it's practice. And so I'll alternate between that boy howdy and this guy right here. And he's been around quite a, quite a while as well, but and that's a Rapala, that's an X prop. Really, really good baits when you come down here to Florida. Um, prop style baits, so that's not like a walk the dog style of a bait. This is more target oriented or going over grass flats, especially when those bass are spawning. But you throw that bait out and you just give it a couple quick pause it, and you'll be surprised what will come up and get that bad boy. And it's really crazy because a lot of times it's not like go push, you know, it'll just be a swirl. And you'll just see that bait go down and you'll set up on it. It'll be a six, seven, eight pound largemouth. I mean, some really big bass get caught on these baits right here. So I'm gonna start off actually with the with the X prop today. Just based on water clarity. And then uh we'll we'll, we'll bounce around. I'll probably have that boy howdy tied on before long, but I'm gonna start off with that with that raffle and see how that goes. And obviously neither one of those companies are a sponsor of mine. I'm just keeping it real when you come down to Florida. You know, I'm gonna do a whole YouTube video at some point about sponsored products and this, that, and the third. You know, I'm of the I'm of the mindset that I gotta use whatever I gotta use in order to catch fish. So of course a lot of my sponsors make really great products that catch fish a lot of times but there are times when it's necessary for me to use something else. And that's really just the gist of it, man. And I think that goes without saying for all professional anglers, we're all doing this for a living. So we're certainly gonna use what we, what we gotta use in order to succeed. So without further ado, the wrap up. All right, midday update. I legit have had one keeper bite. One about two and three quarters. Flipped him up on a isolated reed clump. And I have not been bit since then. I caught a couple small ones. I seen a few on a bed, but nothing substantial at all. So we halfway through day one, got a lot of looking left to do. And we really need to find something. So just thought I'd check in and give you guys a quick little update. You ain't been missing nothing. But we try not to do too much catching at the same time, but I definitely need to figure out a pattern. Something that's going to sustain through the tournament. So, yeah. Right now, currently idling in a very, very shallow bay. Not even a foot deep. But, that's how we roll. Right. 
new morning, day two of practice. Just launched in, idled out. New area of the lake I'm launching here in Harney Pond. Very popular area of the lake. For good reasons, there's always a lot of fish being caught in these certain areas. Man, it's been different this year. We had a hurricane a couple years back that kind of changed a lot of things here on the lake. And I don't know if it's the hurricanes or just what, but the, the grass is really, really gone on this place. Not a single blade in Harney Pond, which is shocking to me. But uh, the fish gotta be somewhere and they gotta eat. So we just gotta figure them out, put some time in. We're gonna do some really cool, crazy stuff today in practice. Go go check out an area I've never been to again. Uh, in hopes of finding a few. So, all right. So we back in a lock again. This one is absolutely massive, right? So yesterday, there's only room for one, maybe two boats. And this one, you could probably put 60. So, you know, they design these things to hold barges and all kind of other cargo equipment, what have you. But uh. Sometimes they can lead to promising waters. So we're gonna go check this out. A little area that I've never been to on Lake Okeechobee called the Kalahusa. No, it's called, uh, I can't hardly say it. But anyways, it has one of those Native American names, real long. It's uncharted territory. Gotta have bass in it, gotta be some fish over here. Just a matter of getting over here and figuring them out. So I'm gonna get over here and spend about four hours this morning. Then I'm gonna pull out and we're gonna roll down to uh, South Bay. That's the other area I really wanna check out, very interested in. Uh, last few big events down here have been one out of South Bay, so it's an area you definitely wanna spend some time. Gotta prepare for this wind, it's gonna, it's gonna freaking blow on my day of the tournament, which is gonna suck. It's so hard to fish down here when that wind's blowing real hard. I mean, five, 10 mile an hour is not bad, but when it gets to be 20, 25, you know, it's really dangerous to move around for one, and then for two, it's just, it just makes things really, really difficult. That must mean something's happening. All right, we might've just caught our first scoreable of the day. It's been really tough. I've caught three fish. Close, 191 on the Rapala scale. 191 or so, 196 is right there at it. It's likely a two pounder, beautiful Florida bass. Man, caught him, believe it or not, non-traditional to Florida. I'm sitting here right in front of this lock and I started throwing this at my MR6 on this, uh, on this riprap right here. And boom, caught that guy. I'm gonna investigate a little bit. All right, we done completely changed it up. Now, we down here in South Bay, an area that I'm really not all that familiar with, to be honest. But a lot of tournaments get one down here. A lot of big fish come from down here. So we're going to see if we can't shake a few flip baits in front of them. Targeting these isolated reed clumps. Typical spawning places for them. Just mixed in Kissimmee grass, which I don't think they'll be on that. But All right, so there is an absolute giant alligator right here. I'm going to try to show you guys. And I mean a giant. Oh, he's going down. Oh, he just went down. That thing was freakish how big it was. He just went down right there. Oh my God, that was like a 10, 12 footer. I swear it was huge. What's up guys? Just got back from the tackle shop. I am rigging up rods for tomorrow. Day one of the tournament. Had to get a couple little last minute items, right? Y'all notice something different? something wrong good lord it never fails down here in florida the weather's dropped 25 degrees okay overnight and the winds started to blow now 20 to 25 miles per hour 
I'm staying here up on the northern end of the lake. You can't see the water, but you can you can see the you can see the rim canal right there. The lake's right there. But this wind right here on Lake Okeechobee is all bad. Okay, all bad, all bad, all bad. Been out here rigging rods. I'm done now. Like I said, I just got back from the tackle store. Just had to grab a couple last minute items. I've been catching most of my fish this week, flipping all my bites, anyways, on the main lake and just on the inside line, which is probably getting demolished by this wind we got right now. Um, so we got Plan B, which I talked about in in the practice a little bit. Is fishing the river system, the Cala. What is it? The, the Calusa Hatchie River. We can actually fish that in this tournament, which is an area that has never been available to fish for us in any of the events that I've ever been here. That road's really loud, but um, we're gonna give it a go. So I'm looking forward to it. I have to fish really hard. Two pounders are gonna be really hard to come by, but hopefully we can find us some. So I just thought I'd check in, give you guys a quick heads up as to what's going on, what I'm thinking, right? Yep, we're gonna try to make it work. Peace. <laughs> My boy DC over here getting them steaks together. Throwing them down. Yeah, let me Throw tell you something. Together. I just cut him straight off the cow high. <laughs> I got him straight off cow high. Hey, look. You know how we do. Get down catching them bass. And then after that, I gotta go. I, I, I gotta go. Uh, Give me a little fillet on. Give me some get fillets you, Get in the kitchen and whip it. Yeah, what do they call them? What do they call them guys? That, what? That, that do the. Uh, Gosh, what you and talking about? Oh, a butcher. A butcher. Hey, well, man. yeah, yeah, you got to hey, be well, a I thought you, butcher. I thought, you, I thought my boy was thinking of something real, real hard and complicated. No, <laughs> a, a butcher. butcher. Yeah, yeah. That's that's all, that's that's our uh, and, and you extra did, job. And you didn't butchered right here. Yes, sir. My boy got some steaks. Hey, I'm gonna tell you, DC at Table Rock, he proved himself. We went and bought some fillets from some little. Hole in the wall, little steak place, bacon wrap. Bro, listen, hey. this steak was five dollars a piece, F bro. Fillets, fillets, eight ounce fillets. Not no, uh, no chuck. What they call that? Chuck S steak. Chuck steak, steak chopped, Brown whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah, none of that. We talking about straight up. Uh, we ain't talking about fillet mignons. Hey, that almost scared me five dollars. It thing, did. Bro. Hey, I think it was six ninety nine. Oh, but there was only like a pound and a half, so you hey, was getting them for like out. ten bucks. Hey, look, I cooked them shits so good. <laughs> I told them they were thirty dollars a piece, and they said, and they believed it. <laughs> <laughs> and they and they ate it. It's all about percent. Hey, we and ate, ate them. <laughs> every morsel of them fillets. Let me tell you, yeah, my boy DC. You, straight, you, hey, hey, you, so, look, you gotta hey. hold it like it. Hey, 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 look. <laughs> hey, they was they was on that level. All right, so we don't always eat bad either. Sometimes we do a little, do a little, a little health conscious. Not too much. We got some. Uh, some fresh asparagus. Oh my God, I'm dropping it. There we go. Fresh asparagus. Looking good. Healthy choice. Got some steaks on the grill. DC out there burning it down. Let's go check on him. <clears throat> See what he got going on. How we looking, Sizzle? Oh yeah. Ain't nothing like a plain grill steak. Let so me tell you something. Real quick tip. If you've got a gas grill, you see these little flats right on top right here? Worst design in history, but all of them got them to protect the burners. Look, let me tell you something. See this on fire right here? That will mess up your nice little steak in a minute. Because <laughs> what happens is all the grease falls on them little flats and it catches on fire. You gotta be real, real tedious and careful. You know, like when you got a big fish on bed, you gotta be real careful with her. These gas grills, look, he already trying to light up again. Look at it. Unreal. We're gonna be eating here in a minute. You said what? How'd you do in that kayak there? I did pretty good. I think they haven't announced it yet, but uh, I'm looking pretty good right now. <laughs> <laughs> I have my left hand in the water like half the day. <laughs> 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 So you didn't you didn't see my brought it back from when I talked to you earlier. Yes, I did. I did. Good. Little 
dude, baby dudes. Hey, we'll take any type of dude. Uh -huh. Take any dude. I had hard pumping like <laughs> That's love, mm -hmm. bro. We just got I'm done right. eating dinner. We, uh, <laughs> we, uh, we, running, we riding back to the house, man. And, and Jay Wills was like, hey, FaceTime? Oh, yeah. Man, oh, I said, I got you. Yeah, <laughs> anytime, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look at Asia. I heard the Lakers folks are doing it big. Oh, I got the fellas. What's going on? Kayak fam? Damn, bro. Hey, is that your rod? Is that your rod?